different about the quality of education that I was exposed to. I, I, I take this day very seriously. You know, I've been in business for 18 years. I'm 25. Um, I'm getting old. And my body is getting weary. But I have been giving MLK speeches for the last 12 years. I uh, just got back recently from Nova Scotia and in Romania where they were exposed for the first time to a lot of the principles and teachings of Dr. King. And to bring your question to more substance in this conversation, uh, a few years ago I was in Westchester County, which is one of the wealthiest counties in New York and in the country. And a young man came up to me and said to me, thank you for your speech. I really learned a lot about Dr. King, but I always knew that he was the reason why I dreamed at night. And I walked by from him, and then I said to myself, that didn't sound right. This young man came up to me and said, the reason why we have dreams, visual dreams at night, is because of Dr. King. Now, he has a misinterpretation of what Dr. King meant by dreaming, right? And so a lot of us are commercialized. We think that uh, Dr. King, all, all he did was dream. But you, it takes a lot of fortitude to walk down the street knowing that every second you got breathing could be your last second. That's not dreaming. That's action. That's, that's provoking leadership. That's servant leadership. One of my favorite speeches by Dr. King is the John Major Instinct speech when he says, if you want to be important, wonderful, recognize, wonderful, great, wonderful, but recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. And he describes that as a new definition of greatness. And in order to be great, we all must serve. Our subjects and verbs don't have to agree to serve. We don't have to know Plato and Aristotle to serve. We don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics and physics to serve. We only need a heart full of grace, soul generated by love. And all of us can be that servant. And so if we don't teach the people if we don't lead by example, then what you have is communities where young people think that Dr. King was a dreamer and other people think that people like me don't have the potential to sit on this stage right now and be who I am that I am today. Yeah. Right? I wake up every morning because I want to wake up. I go to work because I want to go to work. I drive the car I want to drive. I am somebody because somebody prayed for me yeah. and had me on their mind. I serve a God who will do anything for anybody. Put food on the table when you're hungry. Thirsty, give you something to drink. Naked, clothe you. That's the kind of thing we need to teach our young people. That's the kind of mentality we need to have. That's what Dr. King was all about. And that's why I am who I am. All right.